the only answer is to, to get some money, more money than average. Because I don't want that to be me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to post this. I don't know. Okay. If you're watching this, I was able to post it. <laughs> It is 11 p.m. right now. My son is asleep. I'm just sitting here thinking like, I gotta make it. It's the only way. Do y'all have kids? <laughs> like, I've always been like a really motivated person who wanted things out of life, but when it comes to my baby, like now that I have a baby, y'all know how y'all be seeing them posting people be like oh i my kids made me go so hard da, da, da. and people would be like why can't you go hard without the kids it's like you can and you do you 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 make a good life for yourself right having a kid just make you want to turn up the heat so high it makes you turn up the hustle so high like i gotta make it I gotta make it like I had to get myself together a little bit I just feel like this video is just gonna be a slight little dump it's just so many things like just to, to rewind like I remember there was times when I told y'all like I used to be going out to eat with my best friend and we used to be like man I cannot wait until I have enough money to be like I don't have to check my account before going out to eat or I don't have to check my account before buying something online for $20 or whatever the case may be and I remember just being so broke at the time and I was working hard but like bills was eating all the money I it was like I went to college and during the daytime I worked and then at night and weekend I worked and then I got a corporate job which was supposedly a good job at the time and I was going there during the daytime and it was so time consuming like to get off at five o'clock um, and then not be able to do nothing else for the rest of the day because I was irritated and exhausted because I hated that job. At that time I was working as a waitress on the weekend so I'm still working two jobs. Trucking came along and really really changed my life. It was definitely life changing um, the experiences as well as the financial part of it. It was it was very very helpful to my life. But then I had my baby and at the same time that I had my baby there was a trucking company that didn't pay us because they were mad that we were leaving off of the road even though they knew we were leaving. Um, they were mad that we was leaving from the company because we were making them so much money that they felt like they were upset about it that they, they decided not to pay us. So we ended up going to court about that. I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that. That was crazy. But we did sue them for that. I had my baby and it was like dang okay so now what you know and then we went back on the road we brought our son it was a great experience we had a lot of fun we traveled around it was beautiful but my son learned to walk at 10 months and when he learned to walk we made the decision to say okay this is not going to work we cannot have him on the truck confined to a small space because we want to work and make money and he just learned how to walk we just didn't feel like it was fair to our baby so cool we made the executive decision to come home um and do like local truck driving long story short so anyway if you go watch the life update that i posted you can learn more about what happened with trucking and why i'm not driving trucks anymore but i told y'all at the same time that that was getting taken away from me it was being replaced and when i say tenfold i mean tenfold y'all financially my life changed so so much from tiktok tiktok i feel like there's a lot of things that we're not supposed to know we i mean black people okay there are so many things that we're not supposed to know that we're supposed to be kept from and held back and like i just feel like it is my job to beat the odds like when it comes to all of these things y'all know how they say like every job required a bachelor's degree until black people start getting them and like now that black people get bachelor's degrees now all of the job requirements are going up and you need to have a master's or higher you need to have all these different certifications and skills and then you need references and you got to know somebody and a lot of times we don't know nobody and all these other things I feel like that is such a thing that's set up for us to fail that I was just like, I just know, like we got to beat these odds because at the end of the day, they're trying to stop us from having things. They're trying to stop us from knowing things and like not to sound woke, but like who you know in your life that has 
um, investment accounts. You know, all of these different kinds of investment accounts and things that, that are gonna help your money make money. Who can you call to talk about stocks and learning what things that you, sh you can invest in? Do you have anybody who you can talk to about day trading? You know what I'm saying? Do you have a family business that can be passed down to, that was passed down to you that you can pass down to your kids? Is there a house that your family owns that has been passed down to you or will be passed down to you that you can pass down to your kids? Are you gonna be the one to do that? You get what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of times we don't have those things and it's made to keep us held back and i just am so adamant on just breaking the curses having life insurance so that you don't your family don't have to sell plates when you pass away you know what i'm saying your family shouldn't have to sell plates when you pass away that's just not right you get what i'm saying like just ha all of those little things that you put into place um to help yourself out and to also help the kids have just been so important to me because like i feel like there's a lot of things that we weren't taught a lot of things that we never learned it was just like go out into the world like after high school there was really no options given it wasn't like you can do this or go to trade school or this and that, that it was like go to college for four years even if you don't know what to what you want to do take the first two years to do gen ed courses and then the next two to hopefully um figure out by then what you want to do and then if you change your major you're gonna go for another year you're gonna rack up some more debt <sighs> feel like that's that would like we should know more i want to know more i want to learn about different things i want to educate myself on all of this different stuff like i know i invest into a little stocks you know we got the life insurance we got all that going but i want to do so much more like i just want to know more about the things that they know the things that are keeping them wealthy and keeping them stable why should we have to accept crumbs when they're living their best lives and then it's like if it wasn't given to you then you have to be the one to create it because we know that they have businesses corner stores all of that stuff that's been in the family for all of this time and it's just getting passed down and passed down and passed down like they have it i want to know about those kind of things that are going to keep myself and my family wealthy for generations and generations and generations to come i feel like we're supposed to be doing a lot more like i feel like we're supposed to be doing more than just clocking in and clocking out and being miserable you know they say like the five day work week was created for men who were going to be able to work good hours and then go home to have the kids picked up and the dinner made because their their wives weren't working they were staying at home but then women started doing the same thing and so now it's just like I see videos on TikTok where people like my five to nine after my nine to five. And it's like, yeah, you get four hours to hopefully spend time with the kids, help them with homework and do this and that. And then cook dinner, eat dinner, shower, get everybody in the house. You know what I'm saying? Close the house down and this and that. And then get in bed. And then like you have to try to lock your phone or be so strict on not staying up late because you have to get up tomorrow to do it all over again. That's what I call a hamster wheel. I don't feel like we're supposed to be on that. I know that I'm not supposed to be on that. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something so much more. My calling is just so much greater that I feel like I'm supposed to be, I feel like I'm supposed to be just living my best life. I'm supposed to wake up happy, um, you know, park out, drink my coffee, spend time with my kid, love on him, teach him, have fun with him. I'm supposed to be able to provide for him like that's the thing i'm supposed to be able to provide for him freely the way i'm doing right now makes me so happy that i could provide for my son where i'm at financially i'm so happy at the place that i am right now but i still just want more like i need to be doing more i feel like i should be doing more he should have more we should have more like yeah i don't know if i'm gonna post this i want to be one of those people that did the things that i said i was gonna do and not just talked about it like i'm all about executing right now like i don't care about saying oh i'm I'm gonna do xyz next month i'm gonna start this i'm gonna start that oh i want to be successful and then you never take the steps y'all know when i did my content creator class how many people was like i'm ready to take over the world like i'm ready to grow this and that da, da, da. there's probably like three four people in my group who post who actually started posting after that I just feel like there's a lot of people that don't want it bad enough and I it's not my responsibility to make people want it but I love to motivate and inspire when it comes to me 
I just feel like I have to, no matter what, like I have to keep going. I have to be hungry. I have to be motivated. I have to be self-motivated because I got to be the one to decide to do all of these things all the time for me and mine. And I can't stop. Like I can't give up. I got to keep going. Like I got to turn nothing into something. I got to turn this something into something more because I want to be happy. I want to live a fulfilling life and like it's going to take some money to do that. <laughs> I know people try to act like money don't buy happiness and I know it doesn't like not technically. It's not what I'm saying. But the freedom to be able to just be like, oh, um, I want to take my kids to Disney. Oh, I want to um, go on a vacation, even if it's without the kids. I want to be able to afford to do that, that, that. Like people always say that they want to do these things and a lot of times they never get to experience it, you know. I know people who don't get to do so many things in life who haven't had a chance to really live life. It's like, you know. And then I seen a post that said that one of the candidates for presidency, she made an announcement. She was saying that Americans can expect their retirement age to go up to about 70, right? And the average lifespan of Americans are only 78 years. So they want you to not retire until 70. And then you have eight years to do all of these crazy things that you were supposed to be able to do when you were younger. But they're saying that you're supposed to be able to do those things once you turn 70. Is that not insane? I'm not okay with that. Like, I'm not okay with that. 70 is crazy. 70, I'm too old now to do those things. Like, now I just want to chill. Now I just want to sleep. Like, and then on top of that, the retirement barely even funds anything. Social Security is going backwards. Like, oh my God, it's just so much. Like, you know how many times I've been out of town and in an Uber and these people are telling me, oh, I retired and I just do this on the side now because I'm on a fixed income and I need to be able to supplement that income with more income. So I'm doing Uber. It's always older people that, that drive and stuff like that. It's scary times it's scary times and so to me it's just like the only answer is to to get some money more money than average because i don't want that to be me wanting to be successful is so stressful but it's like you just gotta do it like you gotta pour into it because it's the only way today is tuesday january 30th y'all and i don't know february i'm just about to take off i'm about to do it again the way that i went hard in december i kind of chilled in january i think because i did so good in december but february i'm about to pick back up let's let's get this show on the road again let's do it again let's go hard again let's go harder because i just gotta make it like i just gotta make it I'm probably gonna cut a lot of this out anyway thank y'all so much for watching if you made it to this point you a real one <laughs> but make sure you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and leave a comment for me and let's talk about some of these topics down below